Hi, everybody. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Late on a Saturday night. This is our last break of the night, 2019 Panini Illusions Football. Eight-box inner case. Pick your team number five. This is the this is a fresh case. Fresh case. Inner case from a fresh case. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into it. Eight-box inner. Pick your team five. Jeff Mason, last spot mojo. Denver Broncos. A little oppo Joe mojo as well. So thanks to all these folks for getting into the action. Really appreciate it. If you bought at least two teams, you'll have a chance of winning a little bit of break credit at the end of this too. Two teams gets you one entry. Four teams gets you two entries. Six teams gets you three entries, so on and so forth. Kind of deceptively heavy because of all the encased cards in each box. All right, so we're gonna go one, two, three for the left side, four, five, six with the right side. We'll use that one there. Four. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to be doing that side over there. So this side will reserve for pick your team six. Which I feel like will probably go off tomorrow. Also, I think um, I think Nick said that what the the illusions that we have on the site, that's all we have. I think we we've we only have five we're doing right now. Six, seven, and eight. I think are it. So if you're a fan of illusions and you're a fan of winning some break credit, get into those breaks because after that, I think we're done with illusions, with our run on illusions, and I'm sure we'll. There'll be another football release to look forward to soon after that, too. It doesn't stop. All right, Logan, see ya. All right. There's the encased card right there. All right, good luck, everybody. Now, as some of you know, Nick Jaspi and I are doing the Circa Millions contest. We pick five games against a spread that's locked in on Thursday. We pick five games that we like. We pick a side and we get a point for a win, half a point for a tie. After three weeks, we're at about, I think we're at nine and a half points. So we're not doing too bad. We're kind of in the middle of the pack. So this week, we've got we're going Giants. Minus two and a half at home. Dolphins, plus 15 and a half at home. Kansas City, minus six and a half at Detroit. Buffalo, plus seven in Buffalo. They're hosting New England. And the Saints, plus two and a half at home. Short home dog. First impressions autograph, Hunter Renfro. Three color jersey and autograph. Wish us luck. We can win a million dollars by the end of the season. That goes to Thomas and my Raiders. They're playing the Colts. I don't know what the Raiders season's going to turn into. Uh, 399 DK Metcalf. 
So these will sleeve and top load before the, the number cards will sleeve and top load before they go out. The hits will sleeve now, but they'll be top loaded before they're sorted and shipped out, of course. There's Tim Brown, it's two ninety nine. And we've got Penny Hart. One ninety out of one ninety nine for the Colts. That's gonna be for Don Rab in Indianapolis. Rashawn Gary to two ninety nine. There's Demarcus Lawrence to three ninety nine. There's Nikhil Harry for the Patriots. Chris Berry with the Pats. Who thinks the Bills cover? Plus seven. Who thinks the Bills win? It'll be the best defense the Patriots have faced this early part of the season. I don't. I think Brady has struggled in the past in Buffalo. I suppose it really just comes down to, like, can Josh Allen limit mistakes? You know what I mean? Can that team play kind of just tight football? You know? They almost have to play perfect football, I suppose, to actually win. Here's Daniel Jones. JM says, go Buffalo. Buffalo! This goes to Pedro and the New York Football Giants. Leonard's got the Bills. This will be a big test for both teams, I think. You know, I think the Bills want to go 3-0. and I think they might. Do they have a bye next week, maybe? I think they might. Maybe they, like, 3-0 and going into a bye. That's good for the fan base. It fires people up in Buffalo, for sure. There's Derrick Henry. $3.99. Is that crazy talk? Is there anyone out there who thinks that the Patriots are just going to smoke him? There's Allen Robinson to 75. And the encased card. Leonard, you also have the Redskins? All right, so we're oppo on that. I took I took the Giants side. Why are you taking the Redskins? What's your uh, thoughts on that? I'd like to know. Billy Sims, Lions. 29 out of 30 on that Billy Sims for Detroit Panagiatis. With the Lions. All right, next box. AJ, what's going on? Nice. Well, do you have a good night? AJ was out on the town. Just checking in saying hi. All right, Bills just can't have turnovers. If Josh Allen can play relatively mistake-free, and if, they're, if the Bills defense gets a little lucky here and there, that, that's it right there. Ah, your buddy has the Giants, so you went against him. Okay, I thought you had like this, this like sharp handicap, and then Nick and I would be like, "Why didn't we listen to Leonard on that pick?" Come on, I'm a little nervous about it. Both teams aren't very good. Giants don't have Saquon. Both secondaries are not good. So I guess the, I guess each team will be throwing all over the place again on each other. So I don't I, I don't know I guess I just short home favorite in Daniel Jones we trust hashtag good for the hobby no I'm afraid this is it AJ this 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 break will bring us right to the end of the show ten o'clock Pacific there's Amari Cooper to one forty nine and there's Miles Sanders jersey Eagles, Chris Berry, what a win for the Eagles on Thursday. The Eagles fans here at Jaspies were pretty thrilled. There's Greedy Williams to 399. There's Jerry Rice to 50. Ooh, Raiders ACDC saying, Thomas is saying Daniel Jones throws for 404 TDs. I guess with those bad defenses, I can see that. What, is, uh, what does Case do then? Shahadi with the Cowboys. 
who wins that game. It's Christian McCaffrey and Juju Smith-Schuster, 25. I like that little, you can see that in the background right there. That's pretty cool. Michael Gallucci with the Steelers. Alshon Jeffrey, 399. Adam Thielen. Greedy Williams to 99. Joey Bosa. And speaking of the Redskins for Shahadi, it's Bryce Love, jersey and autograph. 54 out of 299. Brian says Case throws five picks, three fumbles. I don't know. I feel like even Case Keenum can throw on that, that giant secondary. Matt Ryan. Jalen Smith, clear shots to 399. And there is Neil Anderson, elusive ink, old bear. 76 out of 99 for Michael Koontz and the Chicago Bears. Here's Sam Darn. Is he back yet? I think he's back in. He's not contagious anymore. I think he can. Wander around camp. I don't know if he can take hits just yet, though. We've got superlatives autograph. That's Chris Carson to 75 for the Seahawks. Daniel Garrett with the Hawks of the Sea. There you go, Daniel. Next box. Jeff Mason needs a uh, Thurman Thomas autograph. We haven't seen him yet. I feel like we've seen, I feel like we see a, an Andre Reed out of one of these cases. I don't think there are no Thurman Thomas yet. All right, should we just go through the slate? Tennessee at Atlanta. Who wins? Just straight up. Straight up. Who wins? Tennessee at Atlanta. Falcons got to start. Falcons got to start playing a little bit better here. They got to get a win. Atlanta. Says Don Ravs. Titans says Leonard. Falcons 27-10. Thomas giving me the score there too. All right, JM says ATL. Travis says ATL. I feel, like the, I feel like ATL needs that win. There's Jamal Adams, clear shots. Hakeem Butler to one now. What about, I think we already talked about this, but let's get our picks locked in. New England at Buffalo. Straight up. Who wins? Probably New England, right? But Buffalo plus the points gets kind of interesting. I think it might be pretty close. There's a Patriot right there, Nikhil Harry. 8 out of 10. Chris Berry with the Pats. Bob Lilly, Juju Smith-Schuster again. Uh, Michael Gallucci right here. Silver ink autograph. Get Juju's autograph right there. Well, Dakota's laying the 7.5 with New England. Yeah, that very well might, might happen. But any given Sunday... There's Marquise Brown, Hollywood Brown going to Daniel Garrett. Ravens. What about Kansas City at Detroit? Now, we know who's going to win straight up. KC, right? There's no way. Right? No way Detroit wins that game. Outright. Not with this guy. But what about Mahomes minus six and a half on the road? In Detroit. In a dome for the first time professionally. Okay. 
Prescott was 28 out of 50 shot it, yes. I took the Chiefs. I think Chiefs will. We've got, nice, poor Jonathan Abram from our Raiders. Goes to Thomas. That's Raiders ACDC. There you go, Thomas. Man. We've got a Renfro at the beginning, too. Wish he was healthy. Roquan Smith to 99. At a 399, Tim Brown. And there's Jersey and Autograph, Darius Slayton to 299. Easy, Dakota. There, 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 are, there are Lions fans li lying in wait here at Jaspies. Darius Slayton goes to the Giants. Pedro with the Gigantes Giants. Big Blue. New York Football Giants. Well, they should have. They should actually be 3 0, AJ Anderson. They should have beat the Cardinals. They let him back into that game. Week one. We've got, nice, Dwayne Haskins, 150 out of 150, rookie endorsements, black ink autograph for Shehadi and the Redskins. <laughs> I'm kind of, well, I don't know if I'm meaning that as a compliment, AJ Anderson. Uh, you know how I feel about Matt Patricia. I, 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 think, I think the Lions actually have a decent team. But I don't know. thrilled about Matt Patricia. I think he, uh, I think, I mean, he let the Cardinals back. He almost, he almost gave away that game to the Chargers. Like, I like the, the, it, the pieces are great. Um, let's move on. Oakland, my Raiders, Thomas's Raiders, Raiders, ACDC's Raiders. Now, I don't think the Raiders are going to win straight up. And I don't even know if the Raiders are going to win plus the points. <laughs> Whoa, I, that, that's Raiders bias, Thomas. Says the guy that says Raiders ACDC as his username. Raiders 30 to 27. I think the Raiders are going to put up 30. I guess no Darius Leonard, no Malik Hooker. I mean, I, I put put a little bit like coffee money on uh on the Raiders plus the points, but I'm not expecting too much out of it. There's Antonio Brown, not expecting too much out of that guy. Leonard says Raiders too. They're not winning straight up, are they? There's Daniel Jones. Vaughn Miller, Hunter Renfro to 399. Hmm. Well, for Daily Fantasy, there's out of 299, Ezekiel Elliott. Daily Fantasy, I feel like take Darren Waller. Take Darren Waller. I, I, I feel like that guy's with no Darius Leonard linebacking out there for the Colts. I think Darren Waller's going to be catching that. And that's the biggest weapon for the Raiders. Look what they did with Jared Cook last year. Daily Fantasy, Darren Waller, if you can... I don't know what his price is, but if you're looking for a tight end to fit that particular budget, then go for it. Miles Sanders, and if you win money, buy a break at jazbeescasebreaks.com. There's Miles Sanders. A great win for the Eagles. All right, what about Chargers at Miami? Now, I, Chargers got to win straight up, but Miami plus more than two touchdowns? 
Jim Kelly. There's Quadri Allison for the Falcons. Michael Gallucci, 175 to 199. ABC, always be closing. If you win Daily Fantasy, spend a little bit of your profits at jazbeescasebreaks.com. You think Chargers by 19 AP? Why? Like, seriously, why? Like, I feel like they're going east. They're playing the early game on the East Coast game, so that's a little bit of... Even though it's early in the season, th that's still a lot of travel. You know, I don't think Melvin Gordon's playing. They got a lot of injuries on that defense. And there's Aaron Jones, 25. I mean, I, I mean, I guess Dolphins could just be that bad. There's David Montgomery, Bears. That's for Michael Koontz. You think the Dolphins have no desire to win? I mean, teams tank, but do players tank? They still have to play for contracts. Not all those guys are secure, money-wise. You know, they got that, those are audition tapes every week. Yeah, maybe. You know, no one's going to give that coach any favors when he's like, well, the Dolphins were tanking. If he's like 0-1-15 by the end of the season, that doesn't look good for his resume for future jobs. And he can't just be like, remember I was on the Dolphins that were tanking? No, people are just going to see the numbers. There's Gary Jennings Jr., red ink autograph, 22 out of 50. Daniel Garrett, Seahawks. But yeah, why would you win for coaches? Yeah, I don't know. I mean... Listen, th I think this will be one of the last times that I'll ever... This is the last time to choose the, the, the Dolphins, I think. If they get blown out by the Chargers, you just cross Dolphins off your list the rest of the season, ladies and gentlemen, no matter how good that number is. All right, well, since AP is here, let's skip ahead to the, to the Sunday night game because Don Rabb ha had the itch. Entertainment purposes only, but I do have the Saints plus two and a half. AP... Cowboys fan, tell me why I'm right or wrong. I'm, ta I'm, I'm, on the, I'm on the Saints, short home dogs. My picks are entertainment purposes only, folks. This is not financial advice. Just for fun. Dallas by 10? Don, why do you like Saints plus two and a half? Saints won't stop Zeke. Hmm. Did I make a mistake? It's a contest pick for me, too. All right, there's Melvin Gordon. He's back to 399. There's Jarrett Stidham. Jersey, Patriots, Chris Berry. Tyler Boyd to 399. Teddy is still auditioning, Don saying. He's going to play hard. Out of 299. Oh, am I going to regret this AP? I do remember that, clearly, actually. Now, now I didn't remember it when I was making those picks with Nick. Should have called you first. Alvin Kamara relic. I mean, can the Cowboys stop? Okay, maybe they can't stop Zeke. Can they stop Alvin Kamara? This is a big. Te well, I mean, this is a, it's still early in the season, but it's a big test for the for the Cowboys. First half against the Dolphins at home, they didn't look good. Arthur, explain that. Three ninety nine, Mike Evans, Buccaneers. Saints at home, always tough. There's Andrew Luck to two ninety nine. Jerry Rice, first impressions, Jersey and Auto. Miles Boykin this time. We've got Miles Sanders, Miles Boykin right here to two ninety nine. That's for Daniel Garrett and the Ravens.
Oh, you're saying Prescott was being greedy. There's J.J. Watt to 399. And not going with the game plan, not feeding Zeke, establishing the run game. Thinking about his contract. To 299. And we've got another old school player, Elusive Inc., Billy White Shoes Johnson. 30 out of 35. People don't have nicknames like that ever, any, anymore. Allen, what's going on? Allen Dennis. Or is this Dennis Allen of the defensive coordinator of the Saints popping into the chat telling us why it's a good idea to take the Saints plus two and a half? All right, redemption here. It's going to be Damian Williams. Superlatives red. Damian Williams. Why am I blank? Is he a chief? Or is that Daryl Williams who's a chief? Is a chief. Nice. Got it. That goes to KC. That'll be Ken Vanderstelt with that one. Nice. Arthur says Dallas 31, Saints 17. 26 minute, 48 seconds. All right, three boxes to go. I'm definitely running out of steam, folks. <laughs> definitely running out of steam. Now, the Raiders were saying earlier, Zeke had 125 yards. He'll get 150 and two TDs this week against the Saints. Oh, now you're making me nervous. Chris Rendon with the Alonzo taking the home run. Um, not significantly. I think a lot of people expected him to win the Rookie of the Year at this point and get the Rookie Home Run crown. So. Is it through the roof, though? But I think they've been through the roof like for the last month or two, though. But I, like, I don't think him winning Rookie of the Year is going to change it that much, is it? Because maybe people already thought it was a foregone conclusion. I'm, I'm getting there. We're almost done, Brian. I'm almost there. All right, what other games are interesting? Cleveland at Baltimore. AFC North matchup. Who does everyone have? Straight up. Cleveland-Baltimore. Out of 399, Keanu Neal. There's my homies, Patrick Mahomes, highlight relic for the Chiefs. That will be for Ken. Not numbered. Stephon Diggs, Tristan Hill to 99. Thomas says Ravens. JJ Watt to 149. Cortland Sutton to 399. Alvin Kamara, and there is TJ Hawkinson, instant impact relic. So Thomas says Ravens, Brian says Ravens, can't stop Lamar, he says. Warren Sapp to 50. Dallas Clark, Greedy Williams to 299. Mahomes to 299. Steve says trap game, but Ravens should win. There's Dexter Williams to 199. All right, now let's add a wrinkle to it. Cleveland 
is plus seven or Baltimore minus seven. Now who do you take? If if you take into account a a point spread, I think it's gonna be a closer game. I if straight up, yeah, I think I'd say Baltimore too. There's Ryan Finley to three ninety nine. But I wonder. Plus the points, those Ravens Browns matchups have generally divisional matchups generally can be kind of close. Weird things happen in those games. There's no offense to two ninety nine. And Anthony and Brian saying, at, if you're talking points, Joe, yeah, Cleveland might just get the edge there. And then Steve also says, in that case, Browns. Denver Broncos, Jeff Mason, last spot mojo. Benny Snell Jr. So close game then. I think that's going to be a fun game to watch. Wait, Lamar Jackson. I don't watch college too much. Did both of those guys win Heisman's? Baker and, and Lamar Jackson. Are we watching two Heisman Trophy winners? Head-to-head. -head? And there's David Montgomery to 150. 125 out of 150. The Bears. Bears autograph going to Michael Koontz. AJ says yes. See, that's a, I would watch that. Do I have that? i got to find a stream for that. I don't think that I don't think Cleveland Baltimore is going to be on LA network TV. I don't think we're getting that game. What game are we getting? Oh, we're going we're going to get Well, Fox will get Kansas at Detroit. We'll probably have that here in LA. Or maybe that'll be the Fox No, yeah, the Kansas at Detroit will be the Fox game. I might get I might get Raiders Colts in the morning. On CBS. I don't know, I haven't checked the TV schedule yet. Gotcha. Jackson, Lamar Jackson won it the year before Baker. Now, Brian C. was saying earlier, I, I, bought, I drunk bought a Lamar Jackson autographed jersey a few months ago. Turned out to not be a mistake. There you go. See? Trust your gut instincts. Sometimes the drunkest instincts are, are a good gut instinct. Not driving, though. Don't drive, folks. That's bad. No matter what your gut says. Have a few beverages, and you're like, yeah, I can still. You can. Don't do it. Don't do it. But if you're at home, safety of your own home, you got the laptop fired up, and you're browsing around. Alan's asking if the Bears can win the division. What do you guys think? Bears, division, W? Now, uh, 399, Derrick Henry. Benny Snell Jr., James Conner, Jerome Bettis. Um, Carolina at Houston. Straight up, who do you take? Carolina at Houston. Triple Relic going to Michael Gallucci, lineage. Marquise Brown to 50. My homies again, Shining Stars to 399. Brian says Houston. Russell Wilson, Shining Stars Not Numbered, Josh Rosen to 299. Roquan Smith revealing a redemption. And it's going to be Hakeem Butler, First Impressions Autograph Memorabilia Red. Hakeem Butler for the Arizona Football Cardinals. Marco with that one. There you go, Marco. But Brian, what if I told you, what if I told you that Kyle Allen uh, went to school at the University of Houston? Huh? Does that, do, does that scare you a little bit? Guess what? Kyle Allen, with the Carolina Panthers, he was in Arizona to play the Cardinals. Guess where he's from? Scottsdale, Arizona. Beat the Cardinals. Spent a couple years at Houston. College in Houston. I mean, obviously he's going to beat Houston as well. Right? That's sound logic, right guys? There's Hayden Hurst, 299. 
tomorrow someone's going to be like, Joe, I heard that, and I put $1,000 on Carolina, and they lost USOB. It's for entertainment purposes only, ladies and gentlemen. Let's make that clear. DeAndre Baker, 107 out of 199. Terrible logic, says Brian. No, I think it's sound, Brian. I, I think it's pretty sound. Kyle Allen grew up, went to high school in Scottsdale, born, bred, high school in Scottsdale, beat the Cardinals. Went to college in Houston, beat the Houston Texans. That just sounds, that sounds like sound logic to me. And you're giving me four points with the Panthers? Put the house on it. Yeah, AJ's like, bet the farm on the Panthers, that logic, absolutely. That's my, my, my hometown kid comes good narrative. There's Dwayne Haskins for Shadi, not numbered. Juju, Daryl Henderson to 399, and encased. All right, so I guess that game didn't move the needle for anybody. Um, What about... Tampa Bay at Los Angeles. The Buccaneers are probably here right now. What time is it? 10 o'clock? Probably sleeping in there, getting to sleep. They better not be going out. Just about bed check, probably right around now, an hour or so. Tampa Bay Buccaneers. We've got Josh Jacobs, Mystique autograph for Thomas and our Raiders. 11 out of 25. Go Raiders. I need a W. Nice Josh Jacobs encased. Last one. A lot of people talking about taking Tampa Bay plus the points. You know what? That's for sure. Thomas is saying, Bucks, he says, I'm from Tampa. They lose when they should win and win when they should lose. Yeah, nice Josh Jacobs. Um, I feel I feel like that too. Like just when you think, oh, that 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 Rams defense is gonna is gonna eat up Jameis Winston, force him into some bad throws and classic ints and whatnot. Blah blah blah. blah. Now this is where J Jameis Winston just like really, you know, sharpens up and shreds that defense. Ma embarrassing Wade Phillips, right? And then the next week, you're like, I'm all over Tampa Bay. Look what they did to the Rams. And they'll be playing some scrub team, and then they'll lose by, like, a Jameis Winston pick 12. Just like they did with the Niners. You can tell who I had on that game. I think it was the Niners. Week 2, week 1, week 2. Week 1. All right, last box. We're there, folks. We did it. There's clear shots. Demarcus Lawrence, Daryl Henderson to 399. We've got Miles Garrett to 25, and we've got Caleb Wilson to 199. That's for Marco and the Cardinals. Steve Olson saying, come on. <laughs> Not one effing Panther in this break. I would buy the second half. I feel like the... I would definitely buy second half. And that's just not me saying that, but I feel like this product, if we didn't see him in the first half, we definitely saw him in the second half for some reason. I feel like it's more like that than other products. It's clear shots, Miles Garrett, and there's Russell Wilson, numbered 10 out of 10. We just talked about him, Cody Wise. A lot of people saying straight up, Ravens. Points, Browns. So, close one. That goes to the Hawks of the Sea. Daniel Garrett with that one. There you go, Daniel. Got a few things for you in this break. We've got Immortalized Dan Fouts. Chargers edition. San Diego Superchargers. Two out of ten. It goes to Michael Gallucci in the Cardinal Or in the Chargers, that is. Different C. Letter team. Is Melvin Gordon playing tomorrow? Do they need him to play? He might. He may suit up. I don't know how many carries he's going to get. 
Any other exciting games on the slate? Tampa Bay, Los Angeles, Seattle at Arizona. I don't know. I think Arizona might take that one. Minnesota at Chicago. I'm leaning leaning home team on that. Chicago. Minnesota's outdoors. Chicago, good defense. Um, I'll, I think I'm leaning Chicago on there. I'm leaning Jacksonville at Denver. That Denver offense hasn't really done anything. Like I said, I'm I'm going I'm going Saints, but I'm getting nervous about that pick now. The Sunday night game, Cincinnati at Pittsburgh. I think straight up, I think the the Steelers pull this one off. But I don't know. Bengals have looked interesting on the road. I don't know. They 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 see they seem to look kind of spry when uh, in the fourth quarter and they backdoor cover and stuff like that. Marquise Brown. So, I don't know, not too confident about those picks. I mean, we're just talking, but we're just talking casually, but it's kind of where I stand on that. DeAndre Hopkins to 399. Is there is there a blizzard hitting Denver? So take the under on that game. A lot of Leonard Fournette. And a lot of a lot of Broncos running backs don't have Joe Flacco throw. Sammy Watkins. They got Allen Robinson to 299. And the last encased card of the break. And the last break of the Saturday night. Back tomorrow, 2 o'clock Pacific, 5 o'clock Eastern. Join us then. Is going to be. Superlatives. Willis McGahee. Nice. 40 out of 99. For the Purple Birds, that's Daniel Garrett. There you go, Daniel. What a nice stack of hits for you this time around. All right, now let's give away some money. If you bought at least two teams in this break, you'll get an entry into our $75 break credit promo. Let's sort this list by your first names. So Chris Berry, you got two, so that gets you one. Daniel, you got three, but only two count. Still gets you one entry for 75 bucks. Don Rab, you got two. One. Jeff Mason. John R. Ken, three. That means one. Michael Gallucci, six. That gets you three. Pedro with two. That gets you one. Shahadi with two. That gets you one. All right, so one spot in 11 has a chance at $75 of break credit. After 11 times, well, it's just too much for this late at night, Randall.org. Six and a five, 11 times. All right, see you, Thomas. Go Raiders. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Then final time after eleven. Chris Barry, seventy-five dollars of break credit going your way. Check your email if you don't see it in your email. Check your spam folder. Thanks everybody. Have a great night. That was Pick Your Team Five in the books. Pick Your Team Six will likely go off tomorrow. Get that break credit. Look at that one in eleven chance to get seventy-five dollars of break credit. Buy your team and then pair it with a cheap team. Cross your fingers. Maybe you stumble into some break credit. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.